Hi guys, welcome back to Life with Liz. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a coffee corner at home. So this is just going to be a super inexpensive and small space <laughs> coffee corner. So I don't have a lot of area that I want to work with on this. I do have a lot of counter space that I could use, but I don't want to. I just want it to be a small little nook of stuff that I use every day for my coffee. So if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and make sure your little bell's on so you know my new videos are out. But we're gonna get right into creating this little coffee corner. So I just wanted to start off by showing you all the products we are going to use today. So I bought this super cute, if you can see the floral around the edges. This is in the spring um, shop or whatever, the spring, okay, well, it's made by Threshold, but it's part of their spring collection. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. Anyways, it is a very heavy piece. It is super nice and it was only 15 bucks, which I feel like is a steal for like a pedestal like this. So from my research, that is a great deal. So when I seen it, I had to grab it up. Then we are also going to be using this. I cleaned it out so it's a little foggy, but um, we are also going to be using this for our white chocolate syrup that I use in my coffee. Um, I just thought that this would look nicer, <laughs> and so um, I did find this at Bed Bath & Beyond for $4.99, which I had a 20% off coupon, and I am so ridiculous that I used the 20% off coupon on a $5 item, so I saved a dollar, okay? So anyways, I paid $3.99, and it's a great deal because I was looking them up in store. This is 16 ounces. It is glass. But whenever I was looking it up in store, Amazon had them, but they were, an eight ounce one was 10 bucks. So this was awesome. Then also I bought these labels for a kitchen organization video I'm gonna be doing here soon. It's gonna be in April. But anyhow, um, so I had bought these labels for that and I am also going to use them for a couple things on the coffee bar. And then I have been using a French press for probably at least a year. And um, I'm doing that because my, the same coffee maker I had a year ago and it had went out on me and it lasted me a year. There's a year warranty, but it lasted me pretty much as long as the warranty. Um, but anyhow, so I just went ahead and picked up another one. They're only 20 bucks. So, I mean, if I have to buy one every year, that's fine. <laughs> it's only 20 bucks. so. Anyhow, I went ahead and picked this up because even though I love the French press, it just takes forever to make my coffee in the morning, and I could be two cups deep if I just made it in a coffee uh, coffee pot like this, a single coffee maker. So um, I chose to do that instead of having to keep waiting on a coffee. And then, so this I'm already using on the coffee station that I have set up here right now, but it's too much. There's too much going on over here. But this is from Ikea, and this I just had. I really don't know. Maybe it came with this. It might have. I don't know. But anyways, I just use it for my scoop. But this is just my ground coffee, and this is probably just a couple bucks at um, Ikea. So, But I do like that it's like the green, bluey looking color. And then I recently, my last video actually, I made this little arrangement and everything in it is from Dollar Tree. Super easy to make. So if you would like to check out that video, I will definitely link it here for you. But yeah, so this is just super cute and I'm gonna use it just for a pop of color and greenery. Then I'm also planning on using my Ember mug in this as well, as long as I can make it all fit. I'm hoping I can make it all fit. So I'm going to use this. My husband got this a couple years ago for me for Christmas, and I love this thing. Keeps your coffee warm longer because it is actually electric. So um, I just have to charge it on a charging pad, which I'm hoping to be able to tuck in the back corner, and I can just charge it when I need to and then put it back on the pedestal whenever I'm done. And then the last part we're gonna be using, I showed this Actually, this is like my fourth video showing this. I showed it in my Hobby Lobby shop with me, uh, my spring and Easter home decor haul, and also my 
Easter spring decorate with me. So you've seen this a lot probably if you are not new. <laughs> if you are new, it is from Hobby Lobby and it's about seven bucks right now. So it's a great deal for a, what I'm gonna use it for, charcuterie board, but it is like a cutting board. So um, I am super excited to use this for decor as part of this and bring in some wood tones. Okay, so I showed you everything we're going to be using and we're just gonna get right into clearing out the current space and cleaning everything underneath and all that. And then we'll start putting it together. I really think you are all going to love how this DIY coffee station at home turns out. I know I am in love with it. This makes all the difference in our kitchen. Before tackling this project, this area was an eyesore and it was just so stressful for me to see every day. I wish I would have done this sooner and gotten it done. Do you guys have an area in your home like that? Like, come let me know in the comments if you have an area that really needs help in your home. Also, do you have a coffee bar or a coffee station? I'd love to know that too. But we're just going to keep going here and getting everything ready to put together. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with too many feelings and rage We were higher than the ceiling Middle fingers to the sky I remember thinking if I only could stop the time if you're new around here, I just wanted to say hi and let you know that here on my channel I do a lot of cleaning, organizing, decorating, and DIY type videos, as well as I share a lot of recipes and grocery hauls. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you know when my new videos are out. I would love to have you guys be a part of the Life with Liz community. And this is my favorite skinny syrup to use, the white chocolate. And I was buying this on Amazon, but it's actually a lot cheaper to just go through the website. Even though you're paying shipping, the per bottle price is like less than half of what it is on Amazon. So definitely go to their actual website. But the white chocolate is definitely the best flavor. Way back when we didn't care what they said, people could stare at it. Look how simple and pretty it turned out to be. If you enjoyed this coffee bar corner in a small space, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to come down to the comments and let me know what area in your home needs to be redone. And if you have a coffee station or a coffee corner, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button and make sure your bell is on so you know when my new Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos are out to motivate you. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all back here on Monday with a brand new video. Bye guys.